is a 61 year old man with a penile lesion 0.5 centimeters pigmented you can see a linear melanocytic proliferation very bland and the remainder of the squamous epithelium completely unremarkable diagnosis is penile melanosis next case is a 80 year old woman with multiple lung nodules this is a, the bronchial biopsy here we have cytokeratin 7 and the stains here are p63 synaptophysin cytokeratin 20 and ttf1 all negative the diagnosis is metastatic breast carcinoma it was confirmed with the clinical presentation and also with immunohistochemistry positive for gata 3 and estrogen receptors next case is it was a 60 year old man in a bypass surgery the surgeon noticed that the periphery of the lung was deformed firm indurated and he decided to take like a wet biopsy finding areas of completely normal lung and areas of architecturally distorted lung with this young fibroblast the high res resolution ct was not performed so my diagnosis was Suge suggestive of usual interstitial pneumonia with recommendation to correlate with a clinical presentation and high resolution CT. Next case is a 52 year old man with multiple peripancreatic and large lymph nodes. So, uh, lymphoid cells with moderate atypia. BCL6 positive in all nodules BCL2 positive CD3 negative CD23 negative CD10 positive key 67 proliferation rate high and CD20 negative the diagnosis is follicular lymphoma consistent in grade 2 next case is a uh, 61 year old woman with 0.5 centimeter breast nodule an intraductal proliferation is identified with calponin the ducts show extensive areas of round monotonous cells calponin negative other areas of the duct are positive uh, the ic adhering exactly the same pattern negative in these areas and the p63 showing only mm, positivity in the periphery of the ducts so the diagnosis was lobular carcinoma in situ pagetoid extension inside the ducts in a background of uh, atypical ductal hyperplasia next case is a uh, 58 year old man with a 9 centimeter mass in the type um, diagnosis atypical lipomatous tumor atypical lipoma next case is 70 year old man with a solitary large exophytic lesion in the vocal cord here is the pattern a little bit of atypia I would say moderate dysplasia and key 67 proliferation rate predominantly in the basal layer lower third uh, with negative p16 I sign this case as squamous papilloma with at least moderate dysplasia next case 57 year old woman with history of recurring ulcerative lesions in the nose abundant neutrophils and eos plasma cells palisading of histiocytes no very obvious vasculitis a lot of plasma cells here the diagnosis is 
consistent with Wegener and it was confirmed with C ANCA positive and previous history. Next case is a man 82 year with history of a lesion in the forearm and now presenting with a solitary nodule in the eyelid. Dermal lesion with this morphologic pattern and this positive immune stain diagnosis. This is a metastatic melanoma. The previous lesion in the forearm was a melanoma. And here we have the, a lesion with typical morphology and HMB45 was the stain. Next case is a man with a typical, uh, with, with abnormal liver function test. Trichrome shows abundant pericellular fibrosis and some perivenular fibrosis. Numerous neutrophils and areas of septal fibrosis with canalicular proliferation. Diagnosis is cirrhosis, alcohol, and hepatitis. This, is, this was a case uh, confirmed with um, heavy alcohol use and previous history of alcohol and hepatitis. 64 year old woman with menorrhagia and endomyometrial mass elongated papillary glands uh, with very bland epithelium diagnosis biloglandular carcinoma next is another one centimeter endomyometrial nodule in a woman with menorrhagia and this morphology that is very typical of a tumor no need for immunohistochemistry the diagnosis is adenomatoid tumor 81 year old man with a forearm lesion spindle and pleomorphic uh, cells confined to the dermis atypical mitosis frequent um, CD10 positive CD68 focal positivity and P63 show occasional nuclear positivity but I requested P40 that is negative this case was signed as what's your diagnosis this is key 67 proliferation rate very high the diagnosis was a typical fibrosantoma then 58 year old woman with multiple confluent hepatic nodules measuring between 0.5 and 1.5 centimeters this is the touch prep cytology and here the biopsy of the abnormal liver nodules the diagnosis was angiosarcoma multicentric uh, I order um, herpes virus 8 stain that was negative CD1 and C C31 and C34 positive and cytokeratin negative confirmatory of the diagnosis and the last case is a 9 centimeter mediastinal mass in a 38 year old woman presenting this lymphoid proliferation with mul multiple mononuclear cells with prominent nucleoli what's your diagnosis here it is a case of Hodgkin lymphoma nodular sclerosis in CTL variant um, confirmed with immunohistochemistry positive for CD15, CD30, FASIN and PAX5.